Hi everybody, it's Rescue, it's Dana from RescueDogTreats.com here and tonight we are making a supplement to your dog's kibble. It's a brown rice and chicken a recipe meant to provide some protein and some good fiber uh, for your dog's diet. So let's bring you in and let you see what you need to do this recipe. So we have some organic brown rice. Um, I'm using sweet potatoes because they are good for a dog's coat and they have some good um, oils in them. Some sort of green. Uh, today I'm using some dried kale. Uh, last recipe I used peas or whatever your dogs um, like. Got six cups of organic chicken broth and um, some organic chicken that was the boiled chicken from making the broth. A large stock pot and a knife to chop up the sweet potatoes. So in my pot I have three cups of brown rice, dried brown rice, and the first thing I want to do is to rinse it so that it takes away any of the dust that was produced in packaging and also it removes a little bit of the excess starch. swirl it around a bit and when you pour it out you'll see some of the dried bits uh, like the husks or the shells that uh, won't cook they will just be extra so remove as much of the water after swishing it around as you can carefully And now it's time to add the chicken broth. And while you're waiting for the rice to boil, you can chop some of your other veggies. Um, I'm going to leave the skins on the sweet potatoes because I think it's healthy and they'll get a little bit cooked anyway. So I just want to chop these to a fine dice. There is two small sweet potatoes chopped finely. Okay, so we're gonna add that to the rice when it's done, um, when it's still warm. And we're also gonna add uh, the chicken. And then I'm not sure if we're gonna add all of this dried kale or just half of it. The chicken is, broth is still coming to a boil with the rice in it, so we have a little bit of time to wait yet. So now the organic brown rice has come to a pretty good boil, so what we want to do now is just turn down the heat to a little bit so it's like a simmer. And just watch it a little bit, make sure it doesn't boil over, um, but it should just kind of chill out a little bit and absorb all the liquid and then we'll be ready to add the rest of the ingredients. Sam, she's going to be eating some of the brown rice that I'm making tonight. Say hi Sam. Can you wiggle wiggle for us? Can you wiggle wiggle for us? Yes you can. Good girl. Hi. Say hi Sam Sam. Good girl. What a wiggle. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good wiggle. Oh, that's such a good wiggle. Oh, give us that good wiggle. Give us that good wiggle. Oh, give us that good wiggle. Give us that good Oh, what you got for us, huh? Say hi. I like brown rice. Bless you. 
So as you can see, you can start to see the liquid is boiling away. So what I want to do now is add some of the sweet potato so that it cooks a little bit on top while the, while the rice is finishing. So as you can see, the consistency is the liquid is a little bit on the bottom. Uh, so I added the chicken. Uh, but I'm still going to let this liquid cook down a little bit. And I guess with rice, you, I'm not doing that right now, but you try to leave it alone so it doesn't get too uh, mushy. And it just uh, kind of gets a little bit firm. So we'll leave this alone. And then the last step will be to add the kale, the dried kale. Okay, so the liquid has mostly disappeared, so we've added the chicken, we've let the sweet potatoes cook a little bit. You could also add carrots, so I just happen to have sweet potatoes. So the last step is to add, I'm going to add dried kale, you could add frozen peas. Um, I don't really, I've never, dry, I've never used dried kale in this recipe before so I'm not sure if I need to use the whole bag or half of the bag. It looks like it's disappearing quite well so I think I'm just going to use the whole bag. And kale is one of those superfoods. It's got a lot of nutrition density to it. And I bought a big, ginormous bag at Costco and then just um, tossed it in olive oil and dried it in the oven. And then I froze it. So I have a whole bunch of little bags in the, in the freezer for food and dog biscuits and things. So, so this should give the dogs a little bit. The reason that I like to do this versus and they get their regular kibble and they just get this instead of the canned dog food sometimes they get the canned dog food as a little meat topper but this i feel gives them a little bit of varied nutrition so they get a little bit different things in their diet other than just the same old thing all the time um Varied nutrition. I, I try to choose nutrient dense foods that um, keep them healthy. And when I give them rice on their kibble instead of the canned food, they just go crazy. I mean, even the one dog that has digestive issues, he that sometimes doesn't just eat right away he eats this like like crazy he just loves it so i do know that they they the they appreciate the fact that this has only you know brown rice sweet potatoes chicken broth chicken and kale so it's basically five ingredients there's no preservatives there's no uh of those ingredients on the can that you cannot pronounce. Um, and I think that they can taste the difference because they seem to really, really take to this and love this a lot more than even the, even the canned dog food. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you try it and see how your dogs like it. Um, and let me know, let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions for other ingredients that uh, you would like to add or you think would be a great recipe, um, add them in the comments section below. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.